Have you ever wanted to create a quick video for a sales page, online training, or simply to share an important message? Do you want to keep it simple? Have you seen an internet business expert use text with an audio voiceover and thought, hmm, I wish I knew how to do that? Well, wish no more, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text-based slideshow with an audio voiceover. It doesn't matter if you're a little shy in front of the camera, or if you haven't showered, brushed your teeth, or combed your hair today, or if you think you have a face that's better suited for radio or podcasts. In fact, you can be the most unattractive person on the planet and still get your message out there on video with this proven method. Look, all joking aside, you are beautiful the way you are. Yes, I, I really, truly believe that. And if you want proof, just hop on YouTube and you'll find all kinds of people of all shapes and sizes with the entire range of facial features. They're getting their ideas out there. So if you truly are a little shy, I hope that you'll be brave and record yourself in front of the camera someday. But that's not what we're gonna do today. Hi, my name is Matt Dolphin and I help people like you grow their business. Part of growing your business is spreading your message through multimedia. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to make a video like this with simple text and audio voiceover. I'll share the low cost tools that I use that you may already have on your computer to get your message out there. But before we dive into the step by step, there are a ton of reasons, I mean real business marketing communication reasons, why you might choose to use text and audio instead of recording yourself in front of a camera. Here are my top three. Number one, these text and audio videos can be very effective because they allow your audience to focus on your message, not the messenger. People hear and see your message, so there's a lot better comprehension. There's a reason why many online marketers and trainers use these, simply because they work. And I've found they're quicker to produce than video with an on-camera talent. There's no lights, there's no camera setup, and there's very little editing that you need to do. Finally, you don't need a lot of new equipment or software. In fact, you might already have everything you need to make one of these videos today. Let's take a closer look at what you need to get started. You'll need presentation software that allows you to create slides with text, record audio, and then export everything out as a movie. I'm on a Mac and I use Keynote, which is part of iWork. Microsoft PowerPoint also has the same capability. And both are very inexpensive. In fact, Keynote is free on the Mac right now. You could use the microphone that's built into your laptop, but you're gonna get a better result if you use a better mic. I use the Yeti microphone. It plugs into my USB port and costs about, uh, about $130. Any USB mic is going to be better than the one that's built into your computer. But if you can't get your hands on an external mic like this, at the very least, use the mic on your iPhone headphones and just plug it into your laptop or computer. That's it. All you need is presen presentation software like Keynote or PowerPoint and a microphone. That's all you need to create a slideshow with an audio voiceover just like this one. Okay, so next up, we're going to jump over to my computer screen so that I can show you step by step exactly how this video was created. Okay, we're looking at the desktop of my laptop and I'm using a program called ScreenFlow on my Mac to record the actions on my screen. Camtasia is another screen recording software that works on the Mac or on a PC and you really don't need recording software like that to create just text and audio uh, for videos. Everything you've seen up to this point was done only with Keynote and a microphone. So let's dive in and I'll show you how that's done. I've already created a Keynote presentation right here. Let's open that up and see what's inside. 
Okay, so as you can see on the left hand side here, I've got a number of slides uh, that make up my presentation. And then what they've got in each of those slides is just some simple text. Some of them have some images, and then I also have some animated transitions that I've applied to some of them. Uh, right here below each of those slides, you can see some presenter notes or speaker notes. And that's what I'm going to be reading during the presentation. They won't actually be seen in the final product. And once you've made your slides and you've got your, your presentation set, recording the, the presentation audio is fairly straightforward. There's only really a, just a small handful of steps to get your video online. The first step is to go up to the play menu and look for record slideshow. Uh, PowerPoint has the exact same capabilities. It may look slightly different, but what you're really looking for is record slideshow or record a slideshow. And if you find that, that's your first step to actually record your audio and everything that's part of your presentation. So let's go ahead and select that. And on this screen, you can configure things a little bit differently. Uh, there's some preferences up here that you can make a timer appear and, and uh, move these, these windows around. But in general, what you're gonna see is your speaker notes on one part of the screen. That's what I have here on the right. And then you're going to see the actual slides that would appear. Uh, and so as long as you've got those things configured, you're, you're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to make sure that I moved back to the very first slide of my presentation because that's where we want to start. And then the next step is to hit the record button. Now, once you hit that record button, there's going to be a, a quick little countdown, three, two, one, and then you can start recording your audio and you'll use the space bar or your mouse button um, to move forward through each of those slides. So. Here we go. Let me hit record and we'll get started. Oh, and it's asking me here because this is my second take. It's saying, do you want to replace the previous recording? I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that and then we'll get started. So there's my three, two, one. Have you ever wanted to create a quick video for a sales page, online training, or simply to share an important message? Do you want so that I can show you step by step exactly how this video was created. Okay, so that's it. We're done with the presentation and it's still rolling. So I'm gonna hit the record button and that'll stop the recording. And we can close out of this. So there's the presentation and it's been saved there on my computer. And if I go up to the play uh, menu, I can play this recorded slideshow and it'll play the audio just exactly as I've gone through it. What I'm going to do instead of play it, uh, because I'm pretty sure I got a pretty good take there, I'm going to go over to the file menu, then down to export, and then, and then I'm going to export to QuickTime. So this will save this or export it out, everything that I just recorded out as a movie. So I, I'm going to it's going to record the the slideshow recording. We'll keep the format the same there. And then I'm going to click next. We'll save that. And after a couple seconds, maybe a minute or two, everything will be exported out onto my desktop. And we're done. Perfect. So I'm done with Keynote now. I'm going to close that. And this is the video. So I have a, a Keynote presentation. The audio is still in there if I want to export it out again or if I need to make adjustments. But let's just preview this and see what this looks like. Have you ever wanted to create a quick video okay, for a sales? Okay, so there it is. That's the video. Uh, our audio sounds okay. We've got the video. And uh, that's saved right there. So once Keynote has exported out your presentation as a video, all we need to do, the last step, is to get that uploaded somewhere online. You could put it on YouTube, you could put it on Wistia, Vimeo, Amazon Web Services, whatever place where you serve your videos online, that's where you could upload it to. So I'm going to use YouTube, 
I'm going to open up a web browser. I've already clicked on the upload button and have the upload screen here. And it couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is take this video, drag it over. It'll start uploading. You see 3%, 4%. It's going to take a couple minutes for it to upload. I can fill in a description, some more details about this video. And once it's uploaded, I'll hit publish. That's it. Then it's available online. Uh, so we're going to let it do that. And uh, as soon as it's live, I'll let you see this video and have this video so that you can use it to make a presentation of your very own. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. With just a few clicks in Keynote, you can record your text and images with an audio voiceover. You'll export everything out as a movie, then upload them to YouTube. PowerPoint has the same capabilities, so there's really no need to buy any extra software or pay a monthly subscription fee to make something like this. You can connect with me online at mattdolphin.com. Contact me if there's any questions or if you're interested in getting a little extra help with growing your business.